I just spent an hour trying to control this, like all of my hair, and it's, yeah, it's a lost cause. This hair. Ugh. I am the brown Hermione Granger. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. Fall and Christmas time are my favorite times of year. I usually do multiple uploads a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's move on to the unboxing. So you guys will have to excuse my hair. I don't understand. It is starting to get a little bit more humid and I think that's why my hair is just expanding as I speak. <sighs> so this month's theme is BTS, which I'm assuming is the, the band BTS, I think. Or does that stand for something? Is it like slang? I don't know. So the first item in the box is by Glam Glow, and it is the Youth Mud Glow Stimulating and Exfoliating Treatment Mask, and this retails for $60. And um, apparently it has a volcanic pumice rock to help smooth the appearance of fine lines and visibly soften skin's texture. Hopefully it's not too rough on my skin. It's like a whole packaging situation. Oh. There's this huge box and with this little thing inside. Really? It's a little excessive. But I like the packaging. <laughs> I'm all about packaging. If you've seen my previous boxy charms, then you know. Oh. Very interesting. Alright. It smells good. It smells familiar actually. It kind of smells like a hair salon or spa or something. Like always, I will give this a try and I will update you guys on um, either the description box down below or my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me there. But uh, this looks interesting. I do like to exfoliate my skin. Uh, I just hope that it's not too rough on my face. My face is, you know, well, everyone's face is very delicate. So you want to be careful with that. But usually if something is too rough for my face, I will use it for my body. So <laughs> this won't go to waste. So that's exciting. The next item is another skincare item and it is by Elemis and it is their Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. And it says Pumpkin Glow Facial Cleanser. That's pretty cool. It has pumpkin... Acerola cherry and mango butter cleanses, brightens, and nourishes. And this retails for $38. I love pumpkin, especially around this time of year, and to have that in my skincare, it's very nice. Oh wow, wow, that is bright. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't have like a strong scent or anything, which I guess is a good thing. No scent is better than like a like a chemically scent, you know? But I will be excited to try this out. It's supposed to just melt away your makeup, so maybe at the end of this video or on my Instagram again, I will show you how this works. But that is really cool. It's kind of like leaked on this side here though, so be careful when you close it up. It's already on the side of the thing, <laughs> but nice. I have a little makeup remover. Next up, we have a mascara by the brand Give Them Lala. Give Them Lala Beauty. The mascara did a good job. It is much more of a lengthening mascara than a thickening mascara, which I, I mean, I prefer both, but I do like a thicker look. But with that being said, I actually do like this mascara. It, it made it so long to wear like I was about to put falsies on, but then I was like, oh, I don't think I need falsies because it's pretty long as you can see. This is a much more like wet formula. So be careful because it did get on like the top lid of my um, eye and then it kind of got here as well. And so I find that happens more with 
wetter mascaras. Um, I do prefer a little bit of a drier formula, but I mean, I still like the look, especially on the bottom lashes. I really like how my bottom lashes turned out. And this kind of like plastic bristle brush, I usually use in conjunction with uh, other like more fibrous thickening mascaras because these separate out lashes really well. So I am glad that we got this mascara, especially since my other mascaras are slowly but surely drying out. And I was in need of another mascara anyways, so this came at the perfect time. And this retails for $20. The next item is by Pinky Rose Cosmetics, and it is their multi-use makeup base sticks. And this retails for $20. I really love the packaging. It's like a little boombox, which I love. I love creative packaging like this. It just makes the product even more fun to use. And you do get two of these base sticks. One is like a creamy concealer shade, as you can see here. And I just use that under my brows and anywhere I would like want to brighten up. And um, usually I would use concealer like right under here to brighten this up, but I use this instead and it worked perfectly fine. These blended out very well. So the creamy one is called Hip Hop and this copper shade is called Jazz. And it's very, very pretty. That's what I have all over my lid. And I just placed this all over my lid and then blended it out. And I did use just a brown shade, just one other shade, just for the outer corner just a little bit. And I did also use one more item, which I will show you, but these were really nice. I love these kind of stick um, makeup products. They're just so convenient. And these are so creamy. Wow. I mean, look at how metallic that looks. And I just love how this kind of made my arch seem like even more like higher than it actually is. It really brightened up this area right under my brow and I really like that. So these were a total win for me. The next item is actually a little duo. Um, it is by Half Caked and it is the Best Friends Forever In Bloom Duo Fiber Brush Set. So it actually comes with a brush, which I love. I love getting brushes and this is actually very pretty. I like the color and everything and it has the name of the brush right here. Uh, it says Half Caked 813 Duo Fiber. I did use it for my blush, which is the other item in this little set. It is in the shade Freshly Squeezed. And when I first opened it, I was a little intimidated. It looks a very, very bright, but with a very light hand, I was able to blend it out very well and it, it turned out pretty good. And this is also what I have just on my crease area, just to tie in the eye look with the blush a little bit. So um, these two items were great. Um, this is not normally the kind of brush I use for my blush. I use like a really big, fluffy um, stipple brush, but uh, I actually did kind of enjoy using this kind of brush because it was more precise in my placement. And I just like placed it on this outer part. Normally you see people put the blush like on the apples of the cheeks, but I wanted a very like pulled back look, uh, kind of like a facelift. And so I just placed it right on the back here. And this helped with this like, this is like a tinier area of your face. So this really helped place the blush exactly where I wanted it. And then without um, any extra blush on here, uh, I just used it to buff it out and it turned out perfectly. I really like the look of it. It looks very, very sun-kissed and um, it matched my eye look because I did use this for the crease as well, like I mentioned. So I love these two items. There's nothing more to say. The only thing, if I want to be nitpicky about this, is this was like a little bit powdery. When I dip my brush in, you can start seeing the powder start to fall down. So just be careful of that. I mean, I am a, an animal when it comes to dipping my brush into makeup products, but just be careful. That's all. Alrighty, so that is it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, if I were to pick my favorite items in the box, it would definitely have to be 
this little duo right here. So the total of all of these items turned out to be $160, which was pretty good if you ask me. Overall, it wasn't a bad box. Um, I've had better. It's nothing that I was like super excited about. Alrighty guys, so that is it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!